what form? It didn't matter. Okay. Did you Just, inject it or in ingest it? I've done it every way there is to do it, probably, okay. except oh. for Sorry. An, except for a certain way I hear they do it, but I've never done it. Oh, what's that way? <laughs> it's, I'm not going to say. <laughs> but how long, how long did you use it? Off and on for the last 20 years. 20 years. Mm -hmm. How'd you get started? Um, I was a kid out on the street with my own kid, and the guy that I ended up being with, he used. I didn't know nothing about needles, drugs, or nothing at that time. And so then um, we got busted because he was selling dope and I didn't know it. And I ended up getting in trouble. He got in trouble. And uh, then the next man, a predator, he did dope. And when he was beating me up, I ended up just doing it right along with him, as a, just the same way, too. That was 20 years ago. Describe what it's like to be high on meth. What is it's the not the same as it used to be. It, it the dope ain't the same. Um, I, I think it's safe for dope. It's nothing like um, the stuff that they used to put out when I first ever started. So the quality is going down? Yeah, well, it's not called controlled substance for nothing, I'd say, you know. You think it's safer now or it it's was safer then? It's safer now unless you get it from the wrong people or the wrong spots. You know, I mean, it's safer now. You know, government's controlling it a lot. And technically, you see healthier dopers, and that's true. You see them that eat, that sleep, that... They, they don't even know they're doing healthy dope anymore. I mean, you know, something safer for them. But uh, that's my philosophy. I could be off. I, I've been it, on meth. Who knows? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> what did it do to you physically? Uh, physically, it helped calm my anxiety. Okay. Because I had a lot of anxiety. So it was like self-medicating, and then I could function. Um, for years, I told the probation that when I got clean, I couldn't function, that I would get you know, jittered, you know, I mean, I would literally get nervous and I couldn't function. I'd have to, I, you know, if I got high, then I could calm down. Then I would be okay. Yeah, I think it's all in the mind. When you were coming down, what did that feel like? Well, for me, it just, you're tired. A lot of other people use a lot of different expressions, but that's because I don't know. I know a lot of people that they hate coming down, but I don't know, it's just, you know, it's just like taking an aspirin or something. It was good for pain for my leg, and whenever I shattered it, um, I could function and protect my, you know, think I could protect my kids better, but I really couldn't. Um, uh, just... How many kids do you have, Angela? I have five kids. How many do you have with you? I have one at home now, and my daughter's, my other daughter is right here in the same neighborhood. But I have three that are older older kids out of the house. So but they went through hell. Do you think, you know, okay. Let's talk about that. Yeah, they went through CPS. They went through um, seeing a lot of things that they ne didn't need to. People that weren't right for families. Distrust. Bad, bad. They saw more than I had to see. Thank you very much. Over here traffic. I know. You guys got me without a shower. I've been working in the auction. You don't know what I'm going through. Don't worry about it. Anyway, um, what else? Physically? Um, how old are you? I, I'm 38. Okay. Yeah. So you've been using this since you were about 18? Probably younger, because I ended up on my own at 16. Okay. So, um, younger than that. Yeah, I mean, you know, I drank when I was younger, but. Then I used meth, at, you know, after that one, first relationship, especially with the second one. Did it do anything? Did it make you lose weight? Did it give you um, skin problems your teeth? Uh, I'd say my teeth depleted, my health depleted. I didn't take care of myself as good. But as the years gone by, um, and I think I got um, a little bit more focused, okay. then uh, I tried, you know, I tried different ways not to use it as um, not to let it take me, you know, but, but it all strings you right back to the same thing because the same people, it's bad. The, are those, your teeth do look great, but those are your teeth? Yeah, those are my teeth. Okay. A lot of dental work, really? Medi-Cal provided. Hmm. <laughs> but You've been in jail? Yes, many times. For what? I've been in prison, I've been in jail. Um, I've probably been in jail in this town. I was on probation for 12 years. 
in this town, I think, possession, are. possession, possession. Every time I'd almost get off, I'd get another possession. But it's the same circle of friends and same circle of people. They're not, they don't change. They're still, you know, I believe that people, when they do drugs and they do methamphetamine especially, it's supposed to enhance what's, it's an enhancer. It's not a, I mean, if, if they do it and they get evil or they get thieving, that's what they want to be. That's why they do it. Some people have done it, as myself, to try to get where I'm going, to try to, you know, get the work done without having anybody else to help, to just survive, not, not to um, hurt nobody, not to take from nobody. Angela, you're, you're, and I mean this in the best way, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm really proud of how, of how you're doing now. You're living in a shed. Yeah. Right home. And because I have all the evictions from past usage and not taking care of my things right, now I can't walk into a house anywhere and I keep getting bad landlords that take advantage and won't give me rent you know, things. You're barely scraping by here. You only have one of your kids with you. Uh, yes, but I... How that's, much of that do you think is because of meth in your life over the last 20 years? Well, all of it is, of course. But at the same time, I only have one child with me because one's with her dad, and the other three are grown up, basically. One's 23, one's 18, and one's 17, but I'm letting her finish school in Denaire because none of the other kids got to go to school for the whole years anywhere because we weren't stable. I wasn't stable. I can't say we. Because of the drugs over the years? Um, yes, and because of the relationships and because of... People end up using drugs because they're not stable, because they don't get the right help and they don't get the right guidance from their parents. And then what do they do? They turn to the streets, the drugs or whatever that is out there, and then that's their guidance. And then their mind takes them away. When you're on drugs, your mind takes you. You have to remember, it's not real. It's not really out there. I mean, you know what I mean? Or it's not really happening. But um, Have you uh, ever gotten... Violently ill, abscess, um, almost died because of crank, anything like that? I've tried to cross the river with all my children in tow. When my daughter was a baby, my 11-year-old. Tried to cross the river? Cross the river because I honestly thought they were coming in to bust us because that father at the time said, oh, it was okay for me to sell dope, and he'd take the rap. You can't take the rap if you're not there. And then, you know, somebody put something in the dope, and... Boom, he got it that morning after we quit. Then I did it that evening because we didn't go on our trip. And then by that nighttime, oh, all of a sudden, you know, I had to get out of there. Had all my kids in tow. Tried to cross the, the 7th Street um, River right there by Butler's. I went down the back and everything. And the only reason I didn't go across was because my, he was 16, pulled away from me. He let go of, he pulled out of the hands. And I couldn't go and leave one behind. But I couldn't find a safe place to cross. But honestly, in my mind, I was going to safety. I thought the dad was across the river. But it, it was safety for my children, and that's where the dope took me when I got high because I was afraid I was going to get busted. So then I went, and I was trying to save my children. But it wasn't real. There was people out there watching and everything. That's how bad drugs is. They just watch and pray on playing games with people. you were paranoid and you were running? Oh, yeah. You were going to drag your kids across the river? Yeah. You know, that's, it, it's bad. It's bad. It's horrible. It's not cool. What, what kind of things did you have to do to support your happiness? Um, How did you get money to buy the drugs? I've never been a hooker. Um, never sold myself. Ne uh, never sell my children's stuff. I'm just one of the lucky ones. Probably because of the bad things that's happened to me as a child. That's why I don't do the other things to support it. Um, I have dug in dumpsters, but I enjoy finding stuff, and I honestly believe when I quit selling dope, I was finding, I find diamonds, I find good things, a lot of people steal them, but I find them, you know, but, uh, uh, how you much didn't, how, how much, Stephen? I, I don't steal. No, I, I, I mean, did you ever? Back when um, you were high on dope, how about that? When I was high on dope, probably the worst thing I've done is, um, Um, what's it called? Um, uh, neglect my children, and that's that's bad. When you don't even realize you're doing it, and you're doing it, and and that's all we're supposed to do is take care of them kids. What kind of stuff have you seen done by people that are, that that meth, that meth has the hold on? God, they're bad. <laughs> they're they're. So it's not a joke out there. 
you know? Like what? I mean... They, they just, they give people drugs just to see what they'll do, how they'll react to whatever they give them, the concoction they think they can mix up. There's a lot of twisted people out there, and those are the people that the cops ain't getting. Those are the people the cops keep leaving out there, and they're twisted. They're mentally deranged to do that to people. It's bad. I was OD'd twice in one night by my oldest daughter's dad, and I remember standing at the bathroom mirror. It was coke and crank, and I remember I was standing there, and my eyes were pitch black, but, and I know I was in the bathroom. I was only 18, 19 years old, and this man just did it just to watch my reaction. They could have killed me. You know what I mean? And then he did it a second time. Of course, I quit then, you know, but that didn't help me because you go back, you know. When was the last time you used? Um, I really don't have a, I, I don't have a date. I have a struggle of a life, but I don't have a date, it's you know. Okay. I mean, you, you know, that's honest. I'm, I drink, you just Cisco. Take I just take it one day at a time, and I pray every day that I can make it by. How often do you think you, um, how often you think no, probably, probably, sometimes it's once a month, sometimes, you know, I have such a um, high anxiety, I can stay up for two days in a row without taking drugs, so sometimes it's taking them to calm down so I can, What's you the know, longest relax. that you've been on, high on crazy, um, stay to, you know, staying up? Probably four days. No, no. Yeah, he's good. He's good. he's good. Yeah, I saw him on. I saw him on a videotape. I always wanted that one when I was in jail too. I did. Yeah, but you got to comb your hair. I didn't. You guys, but you guys follow me around too. No. One more question, Angela. Go ahead. If you, could, if you could go back in time and talk to yourself as you are now, talking to nineteen-year-old Angela, what would you say to her? God, I'm trying to do that with my daughter right now. She's eighteen, and man, she just doesn't want to. You know, I she's seen it all. Well, how could she just want to live that life, you know, and stay in it? Do you think it's because she doesn't know anything else, Angela? No, I think it's because of, of our past and things that's happened to both of us in our life and it, basically what's happened to her um, when she was real young, that today it's hard for her to accept love, real love, and someone really caring and trying to direct her, you know? Um, because you know they know it all when they're young they know it all I mean they do for two years I've been trying to redirect this child because if anybody would have cared and tried to redirect me when I was going through my problems in life and trying to just survive I had to survive she didn't have to she chooses to do it you know what I mean and and, and to not move forward in her life you know I had nobody to redirect me they just let me go you know my parents drank I'm not putting my parents down or nothing my stepfather and my, my mother. So it was like, and, and that was a bad family, bad situation, you know? So she, she, your daughter is using right now? Probably off and on, I don't know for sure. Because I can't have them live in my house because I would lose my child because of some of the things that get left in my house. Did you try and talk to her and say don't make yeah. the same mistakes I made? Yeah, it's just, I can't do nothing but give it to God, I, I try. That's all I could do. What, what are you doing now? Dave, now I'm trying yourself? to change. I, I I work at the flea market. I have my own business, basically, to say, because I believe. And I was going to college, but I had a lot of problems with this landlord. I couldn't get my computer. I, he turned an electric off. I just had one problem after another that I couldn't even function to do my simple schoolwork that was simple. So I don't know. Maybe they put me on break. I pray they did, because I really want to go to college, and, and, I, and I could do good. Um, but I have to deal with that if I get out of here, I guess. That's all I can do.